In 1948, following the creation of the modern state of Israel, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, was created. In all the wars of Israel, women have played a vital role. Over the past decades, positions throughout the IDF that were once reserved for men have opened up for women. And today, women serve in some of the most dangerous and elite units in the IDF. This is their story. There was no choice to be either in the IDF. It was something I was sure that I was going to do. It's a challenge for girls to be here. I knew that I wanted to be a combat soldier. I'm, I'm here to motivate others. The threats we deal here are terrorist attacks. So you can call it exciting, but it's very intense. The IDF is a very special army. I'm Jewish. This Jewish state. It's my duty. My name is Adam Benami. I am a commander of one of the operation centers here in Gaza Strip of the observation uh, girls that look uh, across the border. My name is Carmel. I'm a deputy of company commander in the Karakal Battalion. I'm 23 years old from Haifa, Israel. I have more than 50 soldiers uh, that are under my command and I live here on a daily base. This is my job. The Karakal Battalion is a mixed unit. We serve most of our time in the west uh, border. Well, we sit here across the border. Uh, we have high observation posts across uh, the Israeli-Gaza border. We have uh, specific missions where we, we watch to see movements of uh, different things throughout the, the desert. We use very special attacks inside the field, Gaza Strip and Israel, in order to prevent any terror attacks or anything that's going to come towards uh, the border and attack soldiers or any Israeli citizens across uh, the line or in Israel. Every company has its uh, part of the border and uh, we defend it. We have several types of uh, missions. We do stakeouts, we send stakeouts um, like three to four a week um, to make sure none of these things happen. Uh, no one crosses the border, no one tries to smuggle goods, no one tries to harm Israel as a state. They are the first ones in the field to give an indication of anyone approaching the fence, anyone approaching the border. Uh, my girls sit there 24-7, 365 days a year, uh, non-stop, all the time. Uh, we do our job through the day, through the night, you know, they can't take their eyes off the screens. They sit down and they do their job very, very, very intensively and very well. Uh, I'm also head of the radio operations in the unit and in the company itself, so anything that has to do with the radio itself, I'm, I'm in charge of that. So if anything happens, I speak to the, the war room and the war room speaks to me and then I delegate that to the deputy company commander, which is Carmel. When I joined the IDF, uh, first thing, like most of the girls here, I want to uh, prove myself to myself and to others. I think that Karakal unit is the best for girls, for uh, combat soldier girls. When I first came to Israel, I knew that I wanted to be a combat soldier. I wanted to do the hardest thing possible. I thought it was going to be super challenging because there's guys in this unit, it's supposed to be hard. Honestly, I felt like I was better than the guys here. We are in the west uh, border of Israel. This is Egypt, called like the Negev area, uh, the south Negev, 50 kilometers border. In the beginning, I was, a, I was a light machine gun handler, and I would carry all the weight on my shoulder. It's a challenge for girls to be here. When they see strong women that are able and capable to do everything, they, they feel comfortable and, and motivated to join the unit. I think they, they are better than the men because they have like this thing that they need to prove themselves all time. I think we, we just take things more personal, so sometimes it's interrupting, but most of the time it's better because when something is personal and, and it means to me, I do it better, I try harder. I can say for sure from the position that I'm sitting today, that we prevent a lot of uh, events that are happening here across the border and we are the first ones to give an indication to anything that's happening here. So this border, it's not quiet at all. We have action all the time. I think it's the border with the most action in Israel now. 
So the, th the threats we deal here are terrorist attacks and uh, smuggling and criminals. I sleep outside most of the nights because uh, we see some stuff or uh, people who come near the border from the Egypt side. Um, so when we see them and when we find them, uh, we do everything and we set our powers to stop them. Well, you can call it exciting, but it's very intense. Uh, during the war this summer, I had a few girls that were sitting here, you know, they took all the bases back, they took every, all the soldiers outside because they didn't want to leave these, uh, these bases with soldiers because there were a lot of stuff that was going to happen, and so they took everyone back. The only girls that didn't move, no matter what, are my soldiers. We stayed here on this ground in this uh, operation center. We had soldiers patrolling uh, around our base, so nothing would happen to us. And they stayed here. They slept in between our uh, posts inside the observation center. And you know, sometimes it looks like Avatar. You know, you see all these screens and all these people like using these computers. But when you come inside and you see what's happening and you see our forces going inside of Gaza and doing and being in the houses that you see every day and seeing attacks and you know uh, preventing really big uh, events that happen here. We're talking about terror panels, we're talking about terror attacks uh, across our soldiers. Everything that happened here across the summer, these girls were sitting on these screens, they, sit, they saw everything. All the videos that you see on the internet is their campus. You see, you see it live. I think the IDF is a very special uh, army in the world because there's a lot of positions that are open to men and women today uh, that weren't open before. Women are serving front row. We don't sit behind desks and just, you know, bring coffee. We do the job every day, day to day base. And as I said before, it's the most filling, filling job in the world. Being a lookout in a Gaza Strip is sitting on the screens 24 hours a day, four hours every shift, seven days a week, 360 days a year. I would do it again. If you go back four years ago and ask me where I want to go in the IDF, I would go to Karakal. It's a big family. It's worth everything here. One of the commanders in, in a post uh, nearby here uh, got a very nice uh, award for uh, a mission that she did during uh, Protective Edge. Uh, she prevented, uh, she, she was the first one to saw 13 terrorists coming out of a tunnel in Israel and she was the one to give the indications to the other fighting forces and well, <laughs> she saved a lot of people's lives. I'm, I'm here to motivate others. I felt motivated to come here and I feel like that's my job, to motivate other, other people to protect their country. This is my country. Even though I wasn't born here, I wasn't raised here, I'm Jewish. This is Jewish state. It's my duty.